What's up, everybody? How you doing today? It's your boy G from Learn With Jermaine Grimes. And today, I'm going to show you how to sync up this Godox R2 Pro for uh, Canon. This is the Canon trigger right here, okay? And uh, we're going to sync it up to our Flashpoint uh, 600. And I'm going to do a bonus strobe. And let me take this off so you can see. I have my Flashpoint... Evolve 200, okay? So, we will sync these up. I won't make the video too long. I'm going I'm to do my best to keep it as short as possible so you guys can get the shooting. If you see this C right here, and I have the letter B right here on this one, I just like to label my strobe so I know which one is which when I'm actually out in the field, you know? All righty. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that, that we have batteries in the trigger okay and as you can see we do so what i'll do is let me uh i'm gonna set this up where we don't have any active any active signal okay so i turn that off next i'm gonna put the battery on to the back of the explorer 600 i love this strobe it's basically the same as the godox 600 and I have I have one of those as well. I love them. I use them all the time. They're dope. Um, I'm going to give you a tip too. All right. I typically buy my strobes from Adorama during Black Friday. Typically and hopefully they won't change what they're <laughs> what they've been doing. But they typically have the strobes around half off during black friday so that's a tip right there it just came across my mind just wanted to put y'all up on the little game all right so next we need to make sure that we have a battery in the evolve 200 okay and we do have a battery right here what i'm going to do is i will line up there's there's a rigid right here what you do is you take the battery the battery has a line right here in the middle you line that up and just slide down the snap. All right, let's check that. Let's make sure it comes on. Yeah, it's on. Cool. All righty. Let's power. Take this cap off. Oh, and look. If you want to take off the cap, I'll show you this. What you do is you pull back this um, release doohickey right here, and just twist on the top right here, and it comes off. All right, I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna rotate this back. Hold down the power button right here to turn it on, and boom, we have power. All right, so right now I'm on channel B. I uh, know I'm on channel one. Let's see if you can see it. I'm on channel one. I'm on um. I'm on group B. Yeah, I have this set in manual mode, one over sixteen, and I'm actually activated to shoot using high speed sync right now sorry about that guys i had to rub my eye all right so let's do a test flash let me close my eyes uh one two three yeah that was bright all righty so what i'll do is i'll drop that down and just in case if we have another one it won't be as bright all right so i have that on all right so again as you can see this strobe is on group B, channel one. All right, one over 128th, and it's set for high speed sync. So, in order to sync this strobe to this trigger, this is what you have to do. As you can see right here, there's two power buttons. Right now, I'm only working off of this bottom power button, okay? So, I'm gonna turn it on. All right, so now, the screen is basically blank. So what I'm going to do is, oh, and look, I'm going to show you this right here. Let me show you. Let me flip that upside down. The strobe says off because right now I don't have an active signal. All right. I'm pretty sure if I turn off this trigger, it might go back to 1 over 128. No, it didn't. It stayed off. Okay. All right. Cool. Dope. All righty. So 
<clears throat> Let me put that down. As you can see right here, it still says off. You take this right here. Since I'm on group B right now, I'm going to press I'm going to press B right here. All right. Next, there's a button right here. This is your mode button, okay? Press your mode button. Your mode button will activate group B. So at this point in time, it's set up for TTL, right? We don't want TTL because right here, I've already told you guys that this strobe is set up for manual mode right here, okay? So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna press B, press the mode button again. Once you press that mode button, at that point, as you can see, it says one over one thirty-two with a plus point seven. Okay, watch this. Well, what do you know? On the strobe, I'm on group B, channel one. 1 over 32 with a plus 0.7. All right. So at this point, if I take this trigger, all righty. Let me bring this down some. Matter of fact, I'll put it down. If I take this trigger, if I want to do a test shot, there it is. We have it. All right. So I'm going to show you something else too. The great thing about this strobe is it recognizes what type of trigger you're actually using so this c right here next to the signal icon stands for canon this trigger is a you can't see it because it's faded out right here but this is actually a c for canon all right so that's how you know boom all right so let me turn off high speed sync all right so at this point you can press your high speed sync button to turn it off or you can even use the trigger you can press this button right here sync and then at that point in time that I activated for some reason right now it's not syncing up with the trigger but I'll fix that later in a later video all right so at this point let me show you something else so what if you get to a shoot and somebody else is over there shooting right they're using one of these strobes on the same channel and trust, this happened to me at a wedding one time, and it happened to me on a grad shoot, where two grad shoots, and I didn't know what was going on at first. It didn't register until like five minutes after the first time it happened. I said, oh, you know what? They're probably on the same channel I'm on, okay? So at this point, what you can do is, I'm going to show you. All right. Now, what you can do, all right, on the trigger, there's a zoom channel button. You see this? What you can do is hold down the zoom channel button. At that point, the channel icon gets highlighted. You can use your wheel and change this to, let's say, let's do channel seven. I like the number seven, let's do seven. All right, so here we have changed the channel on the trigger. Now, will we still have access to the strobe let's find out so if i hit the test flash button right here nothing happens nothing happens to the strobe the trigger is working fine what do you think the problem is now well i'll tell you as you probably guessed we have to change the channel number on the strobe now so that it will coincide with the channel number on the trigger so on the trigger we're currently on channel seven. I'm gonna try to hold it up right here. Channel seven, right here at the top, you see that? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that down right here. Let's pick this up. If you look right over here, there's a group channel button, all right? You press that and it changes the group. We don't wanna change the group. We wanna change the channel. So guess what you do on this one? You guessed right. You hold down the button again. Now, as you can see right here, channel one, has been highlighted. Take your wheel again. Boom. Choose seven. Try to bring it over. There you go. Boom. Now watch this. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen when I press the test flash button? You guessed it. 
the strobe is going to work again. You see that? So that's how you set up your strobe. Now, let's change back, okay? So what I'm going to do is, let me bring this up. I'm going back up to my Zoom channel button. Let me, let me submit. Uh, there we go. All right. I just wanted to activate the screen for you guys. All right. So right here, Zoom slash channel. Hold that down. Bring it back up. As you can see, seven has been highlighted right here. Let's, let's take it all the way down. Use your wheel. And let's go, to, let's go back to channel one and press set. Boom. All righty. So here, we're going to do the same thing again. Find your group slash channel button. Hold that down. As you can see right here, channel seven is lit. Let's take it on down back to one. All right, and press the set button. Now, the strobe is on channel one. The trigger is on channel one. Let's press that test flash, and there you go. We have the flash, all right? So, guys, this is pretty much the video right here, but I did tell you that I would have a bonus for you, okay? So, this is the bonus. All right, I'm going to show you how to sync up another strobe, okay? So, what I'll do is... I'm going to use, again, my Evolve 200, all right? I like this strobe too. I don't use them as much as I should because I see a lot of people using them and really, you can make a lot of dope content with this one one strobe. I'm gonna I'm I'm be honest with you, man. It's super dope, man. It's stronger than the speed light. Invest in both of these if you can. All right, so I'm gonna press the power button. The power button is right here. All righty. It makes a beep when it comes on. This is the screen. So, it works the same way, guys. So look, what I'm gonna do is, God forbid I dropped it, I don't wanna drop it on my strobe. All right, so, as you can see right here, this is already grouped for C. C, you see that? C. All right, so at this point, it's just like the 600, okay? It's in manual mode, but at this point, it's on group one. So if I press the button, all righty, this one did not flash. Watch, you see that? That's the 600 flashing. Matter of fact, let me turn off the 600 so you can really see. I don't want you to get confused. All right, so the strobe is on. You see that? We have two hash marks. I'm gonna tell you about that shortly. All right, so I have this pointed up to the camera. You don't have to worry about it. It won't flash. So I'm pressing the flash button. Nothing's happening. But the trigger is working. Can you guess what's going on? Ah, you guys are too smart. The hash marks basically stand for, it's a representation that the strobe is not active at this point in time. It's not getting a signal to read from a trigger. Okay, so what we have to do is again, we have to activate these two. We have to make these two pair. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you guessed it what I did previously. All right, so I'm going to press C now. Okay, as you can see, there's nothing on C. Two hash marks right there, two hash marks right here. You see that? That's the first time I really noticed that. All right, so again, you press the mode button right here on the trigger. It takes you to TTL. I don't want TTL because, as you can see here, um, well, it's on TTL right now, but I want to put it on manual, all right, just to match up my other strobe. So we're going to press that button again, the mode button, and voila. You see that right there? One, one over 128, one over 128. Guess what's going to happen right now? When I press that button, I'm not going to hold it up to the phone. Well, there you go. I'm pressing the button. And I have a flash. Now, what do you think is going to happen if, let me turn this one back on. All righty. So I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to press the button at the same time. All right. Now, if I did everything correctly, these two should flash. All right. You ready? I'm going a, I'm to a hold this over here so you can see. Okay. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, here we go. One, 
two, three. All right, watch this. They are flashing, guys. You can't see the flash on, on this one. Oh, you know what? All right, so what I do is, just so that you can see it, on this strobe right here, which is synced on B, I'm going to drop down and down to 1 over 128. And I'll take C up to 1 over 32. So at that point in time, you can see the difference in them. All right, I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to close my eyes. Watch. You see that? You see that? This is flashing, guys. All right. So at this point, if you would like to, all right, let's say you want to put this one at 1 over 1, but you want to keep the big one down at 128. At this point, you just press C and use your wheel. Work the wheel. There it is. And press the set button. Boom. One over one, one over one. And guess what? I'm gonna show you this right here. You want to leave this at 128. It's at one over 128. There you go. Well, that's the video, guys. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to know. Leave your comments, your questions, and anything else. Let me know how I did. This is strictly off the dome. It's off the brain. I didn't have a script, so, you know, if I messed up, my bad. I'll do, I'll do better in the next one. And, uh, oh, follow me on Instagram at Jermaine Grimes. That's at G-E-R-M-A-I-N-E G. -E R I M E S. Also, too, you can follow me on Instagram at Exposures. That's my photography page. It's at E X P R O S U R E S. Subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Click the notification bell so that you can stay abreast of all my upcoming content. And I hope you guys have a great a great day. Excuse me. Keep shooting. Keep creating. Y'all be blessed. Peace. I don't know why I did the fingers. Peace.